It's Dr. Centeno. I'd like to talk to you about the Regenix DDD procedure used to treat spinal stenosis without surgery. So we're going to be talking about the spine, in this case, the low back, and we're going to focus in on that level right there. And if we blow that up, this is what that looks like. We've got a disc, which acts as like a shock absorber between the vertebra or the backbones. And in the back part here, we have facet joints, and then there are ligaments that go back here called the supraspinous and interspinous ligaments. And then down the middle of all this uh, inside are where the nerves are. And in the middle, it's called the spinal canal, which is the hole in the middle of each one of these vertebrae, and they stack on top of each other like kids' blocks, and that makes the spinal canal. Now, as we age or get traumatic injuries, the spinal bones can begin to move too much, and this is called spinal instability. And a major cause of spinal instability is either related to loose ligaments, and a lot of the ligaments are shown here. This is the supraspinous ligament there, interspinous ligament there. We've got a ligamentum flavum that comes in here. We've got a posterior longitudinal ligament that comes there. Uh, or the disc can degenerate, that can also cause too much motion, or the stabilizing muscles called the multifidus can get weak, and all of that leads to excess motion. And when you have too much motion or things get sloppy, uh, you can get disc bulges, you can get facet joint arthritis, meaning those joints in the back of the spine can get arthritis and become bigger. And you can get swelling in the internal ligament in the spinal canal called the ligamentum flavum, which is just Latin for yellow ligament. So if we look at all of this from the top down, we can see here in the middle, this is the spinal canal. So that's where the nerves would live. And then we've got the multifidus stabilizing muscles out here. And then we've got the covering uh, for the back muscles called the thracodorsal fascia. And then we've got a whole bunch of ligaments that connect into and go into the spinal canal and connect into that yellow ligament. So this is where the nerves live in that spinal canal as we look down. And then we've got facet joints, which are over here. There's one there, there's one there. And then this is where the disc bulge would be from, or that's where the disc lives. So when there's pressure on the nerves in the spinal canal, that's called spinal stenosis. So we can have a disc bulge that comes in from the front, uh, and that's gonna put pressure on those spinal nerves. And that's one of the things that can lead to spinal stenosis. Now, we can also have pressure coming from the facet joints, which are back over there, and that can also put pressure on the spinal canal, and that can be caused by facet joint arthritis. And then finally, we can get ligamentum flavum hypertrophy, or that yellow ligament can get bigger, and that can put pressure on those nerves from the back part. So when patients have spinal stenosis, the biggest issue they have is standing. Many patients can't stand for more than five or 10 minutes. Sometimes it's a half hour, but basically standing will cause pain in the back or numbness and weakness in the legs, and that is instantly relieved by sitting or bending forward like this woman is on a shopping cart. Any kind of bending forward will make that immediately better. And the most common treatments are steroid injections, which are only short term and they kind of destroy tissue. Uh, and then surgery, which is a big deal because you got to open up a lot of stuff in there, which can lead to other problems down the road. Now, what if we could treat this without invasive surgery? Can that be done? Well, yes, it can. We've been doing this for many years with what we call the Regenix Degenerative Disc Disease or DDD procedure. And that focuses on four different sub-procedures. One is called a percutaneous ligamentoplasty. Our focus there is to tighten down loose ligaments and to reduce the size of that swollen ligamentum flavum within the spinal canal. Uh, also a facet arthroplasty where we're injecting high-dose platelet-rich plasma into those facet joints to reduce that swelling. And then what we call biologic neuromodulation, or injecting the growth factors from your blood platelets around irritated nerves. And then percutaneous myoplasty, or trying to help those degenerated and atrophied stabilizing muscles by injecting directly into those as well. So where do we inject? I know that all sounded very complex. 
Well, we're injecting into this supraspinous ligament here and into this interspinous ligament and see how that connects into this ligamentum flavum. So if we can get those tighter, we can pull that ligamentum flavum out of the spinal canal. And all we need is a millimeter or two to make that work. We're also injecting into those swollen facet joints uh, that I talked about before, and then around those irritated nerves, and then into the stabilizing muscles as well. And who's a candidate? Well, if you've got up to moderate to moderate severe spinal stenosis, you're a good candidate. If it's more severe, it's a fair to poor candidate. Now, at the end of the day, that means that we can treat about 80% of the patients who have been told that they have spinal stenosis and need surgery. About 20% we can't treat. So what do we inject? We inject our third generation high dose platelet lysate, our third generation high dose platelet rich plasma. And while stem cells may be used, they're usually not necessary in that platelet-based procedures here work quite well, and they're less invasive than stem cell procedures. So one final word of caution is these injections require both x-ray and ultrasound guidance, and they cannot be performed by a nurse in a chiropractor's office, nor can they be performed by most interventional spine physicians unless they've got additional training on how to perform these specific regenerative procedures. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get all of these updates and see all of these things and continue to learn. Have a great day.